welcome to Jim here. We're approaching the main part of Port St. Joe. My wife knows a lot about history. She said that one time there was an East Florida and a West Florida. Is that and then, true? Yes. And Pensacola was the capital of East of West Florida and Jacksonville was the cop, capital of East Florida. And they met in the middle and got Tallahassee. I never even knew this. You never knew this. Things must be happening here. I think there's a new Burger King. Oh yeah. Okay, make a right turn. You want to see downtown Port Joe. I love the Port Inn. I love the Port Inn. Got some people on the front porch. And this is the main approach to downtown Port St. Joe. Port St. Joe has had a lot of history occur here. For the state of Florida, there was a constitutional convention and then also Missoula's created many important issues. But look, what a quaint downtown. Unless they have somewhere to eat here. Do they get boutiques, oh, brick walls, uptown, rock grill. Oh, look at that classic theater on the left. See it? Mm -hmm. There was one in. Okay, now we're on the corner of 4th Street and Reed Avenue. I wonder who Mr. Reed is. No name books and gifts. Pepper's Mexican Cantina. Emerald Coast Jewelry. There's the Lighthouse. They have a lot of gift stores. St. Joe. The Joe. Oh, that's the. Well, that's probably the place Kreme for coffee. Donuts, yeah. oh, was that Krispy Kreme Donuts? Or is yeah. it, it's a regular bakery. I don't know if it was just Krispy Kreme or oh. if they had Krispy Kreme. Really? That, thing. that looks like the most happening spot here in well, let's St. Go. Joe. I think we should find McDonald's and get something to eat. Yeah, I think so. Too. And then we can walk around. Well, yeah. Yeah. Want to see the boat docks? Well, I want to go eat first. Then we'll oh, those are the McDonald's. Yeah, we're going to McDonald's first. Yeah. Then we'll go in. Well, I think we should go I'm to... hungry, Jim. Well, I, I know you're hungry. Through the drive-thru and eat by the boats. Okay. okay, but if not, we'll eat inside. I don't think we can. Because why? A coronavirus? No. Our dog. We have a dog. Yeah. I think you're right. I think we should go through the drive-thru. Or I should run in and get the food. It'll be quicker than the drive-thru. Uh -huh. And what do you want? I want <laughs> kind of like an Egg McMuffin. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if I should have coffee. Is that going to I... Or am I better off just... Well, I shouldn't have a Diet Coke anymore. I'm at the but look at the drive-thru. Yeah, look at the drive-thru. But this is There's the no biggest thing. Look at all these trucks. The it, I mean, they're like trucks in the pain though, but everyone is driving their truck to McDonald's here. There must be a special one, Egg McMuffins. Pull off with a frozen cup. Oh, you could even eat in here, Jim. So this is Marina Cove. This is the beef burger. Well, we can come back for scallops for lunch. We might have to. That's a nice looking lighthouse. Now was do you think this was used in the Civil War or anything like this? I think you're right, Jim. Yeah. We might have more fun here than we thought. I mean, I don't mind staying. Well, the architecture is pretty nice, though. It's well, yeah, kind of federal looking. Yeah, we might just spend there the might day be stuff happening in Port St. Joe. Port St. Joe. Well, my sister-in-law, Patty, says Port St. Joe is famous for their scallops. We might have to stay for lunch. Yeah. Those are boats. I wonder where they go, Jim. That is interesting. They look more like ferries. So, so you think they're boats or you think they're structures? I think they're structures. But then they look kind of boatish. I am not sure to find out what they are. Oh, you can see it. They are boats. They're Staten Island Ferry. Yeah, what's, why are the Staten Island Ferries here? 
that is the best question of the day. Yeah. I said they looked like... Are they brand did... new Staten Island Ferries? Or are they serviced? Or what is going on with Staten Island Ferries? Why are there Staten Island Ferries in Port St. Joe? Yeah, good question. Why are they? And they're big ferries, too. That is... Okay, you need to Google that. Yeah. So how would you have gotten them here? So they can go down and ride the... Ocean? I don't know. Or is this they bring them down the Mississippi River Jim, or what? This is the. You have no idea. The mystery of the day. See, they could build Staten Island Ferries? That's what it looks like. Ferry. There's the lighthouse. Oh, this is beautiful. Kayak. Oh, I see the lighthouse right there. There's the Constitutional Convention Museum. Port St. Joe has an interesting, rich history, starting with the Constitutional Convention Museum. Also, it's important to know that Lake Wimico Canal and Railroad was the first steam railroad in Florida and one of the first in the United States way back in 1836. And here's a tribute created for the 1838 Florida Constitutional Convention. Striking stonework and brickwork in this quaint multi-acre park. Storm on the horizon today. Dog Cafe it looks popular. Let's turn here. Where this guy is going. Yeah, well, I think that's what Piggly Wiggly is in here. Duran's Piggly Wiggly. They must be independently owned. Jim. Oh, Piggly Wigglies are independent. Yeah, so that looks like a nicer Piggly Wiggly. We might have to go do that Piggly Wiggly. To give him a chance. Yeah, I want to give him a Piggly Wiggly another chance. That's right. Okay. In Port St. Joe has a very modern Piggly Wiggly. The best meat on the coast can be found at this Piggly Wiggly. And there's some really nice residential neighborhoods here in Port St. Joe. A lot of pretty houses. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe.